Well, it's day 27 of the Clutterbugs 30 Day Decluttering Challenge and I am continuing to rock this decluttering challenge with her. I really want to get rid of the chaos that's in my house and whereas I've been making good progress with my Fly Lady cleaning process, I thought it would be fun to join the Clutterbug. And today's challenge is outerwear and in Indiana we keep our outerwear in a coat closet and so I'm going to tackle this particular coat closet. As you can see, I've taken everything out of the closet and now I am ready to get started. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And I'm tackling the clutter or the chaos in the coat closet. Going to set my timer for 15 minutes and Again, remember, you set your timer for 15 minutes and you work in your area for 15 minutes and then you have to finish the process once your timer goes off. So, let's get started. That pile there, all of those are the coats that have to go back into that closet. And I'm ashamed to say, there's just the two of us, me and my husband here, but since we live in Indiana, we have to have coats for all seasons and so all seasons coats go in this closet. This is a great coat but it's just a little big, so I think maybe I'll donate this one. So I'll put it there to donate. This is another black coat that I have that is old, but I love it. So, and I do wear it from time to time, so this is gonna go back in the closet. So I'll put that there. This is one of my husband's coats, so that'll definitely go back in the closet. I'm not gonna try to declutter his stuff. And this is one that I like when the weather gets really bad. It's great because it's really long. It comes all the way down through the ankles and there's a hood. So I'm keeping this one. This is my husband, so it stays. This blazer kind of thing, I don't know. It's long and these long jackets are back in style. So I've got, I'll take it to the cleaners. So let's put it over here to go to the cleaners and I can use it this year. This little green bomber jacket, I always wear it in the spring and in the early fall. So that goes back in the closet. This cute little short jacket I always wear in the early fall and spring. And this rain gear I always wear in the spring. So let's start getting these things back in the closet before I run out of time. little suede coat I just love. I bought it years ago from Casual Corner. That lets you know how long it goes spin. And I don't wear it a lot, but I do wear it occasionally in the fall and the early spring when it's just a little bit chilly. I just like the color of it and I like the way it looks on me, so I'm going to keep it. You gotta have some fun stuff. You gotta have a hoodie if you live in these parts, so I've got this with some faux fur around the face to keep me nice and warm. Now this tatty little thing, I've had it forever. I got it at Macy's one year, got it on sale for like 20 bucks. And it was wonderful the year I got it. It's nice and it's heavy. I can wear sweaters and all that underneath it but now it's definitely tattered. But when you're out in the snow and you've got work to do, you need to shovel the porch, or not that I shovel very often, but if I'm out working in the snow and I need something that's just kind of tattered that I don't worry about getting it messed up, I wear this. So I want to keep this. When it's cold or whatever and I'm working outside, this is my go-to. So I'm keeping this tacky little coat. Now this is a good winter coat. It's nice, it's heavy, I can wear sweaters underneath it. And I like the, um, 
I like the fact that you've got this knit collar around it. So I just love this. So I'm keeping this. And then this big old heavy thing, I got it one winter because I needed something warm, something that's just kind of furry. But it is definitely tattered now. You can kind of see where the leather or the faux leather is all cracked and chipped. So this I'm going to let go of. So I'll donate that. It's still a good coat. I just choose not to wear it anymore. I've got some others to choose from. So those are all of my things. Now I'll start putting my husband's things back in the closet. He don't have to decide what he's keeping and what he's not. Now he needs lots more outerwear than I do. And the reason for that is he does a lot more outdoor stuff. He's got to mow the lawn and shovel the snow and do all that hot stuff outside as well as all the cold stuff outside. And then coats and jackets for when he's fishing or whatever. So he's got lots more outerwear than I have. So this will go quickly putting his in because I'm just putting him in. So here's my coat closet all neatly organized. I haven't put the hats back on the shelf yet, but the coats are in there. And I kept the floor clean. I did put the table leaf back in there, but those old shoes and boots and things that were down there, they were either discarded or put where they belong. Thank you so much for joining me as I continue to declutter my home. I am so glad I got this coat closet cleaned out. We'll see how long it stays that way. Now, I do have to get the hats back in here, but I'm not going to work on that right now. I probably have like two hats. My husband probably has like 30, so that's going to take a minute to work on. So our 15 minutes is up. We're stopping where we are, and I will see you in the next video. So please, if you like this video, if you like watching me declutter my home, if you like cleaning with me, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And as always, please like, share, and as I said earlier, subscribe. This is Denise Jordan from This and That with Denise saying goodbye.